Now, you have seen the gray torch that burns brightly over New Shadoth. No, because it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. You'll fix that. You'll go to Cylarn and bring back the flame of Agnon to relight the torch. Oh, and take care with my minions at Cylarn. In their eternal quest to please me, they're constantly fighting over Cylarn. It can be tiresome, but really, it's divine, divinely tiresome. Well, that's your problem now. Off with you. I don't want to see you again until the great torch is lit. I wouldn't want to have to hurt you much. Oh, don't forget to make use of dear Haskell. Between you and me, if he's not summoned three or four times a day, I don't think he feels appreciated. That's where you're going to get the flame of Agnon. Do you listen to anything I say? Do your ears work? If not, I can find use for them. Go and fetch the flame. Bring it to the Sacellum. Light the great torch. How are you going to be me if you can't even do what me tells you? It's what's used. To light the great torch. Haven't we covered this? You'll find it in Cylarn, guarded by my saints and seducers. The great torch shines brightly above New Sheath, a beacon of hope for all the citizens. Except it doesn't. It's gone out happens every time the Grey March begins, which it has. Makes all of my subjects uneasy, tense, homicidal, some of them at least. We need to get that torch relit before the place falls apart. Aren't you the curious one? You know what they say about curiosity, though, don't you? It killed the intrepid adventurer who really should just be doing exactly what I say at all times. You're going to stop the Grey March by becoming me. Or a version of me. Or you'll be powerful. Powerful enough to stop Jigalag. He's on his way. So I'm on my way out. It's terribly inconvenient, don't you think? You're going to stop him, though. And the first thing to do is to make my people feel safe. Otherwise, they tend to go work for him. It's annoying to tell the truth. A bit hurtful. But they do it every time. Join up with the enemy and become priests of order. They're getting more active every day. Not a good sign. You know what would be a good sign? Free sweet rolls! Ho oh, ho ho! Who wouldn't like that? Shut them down where you can, and make sure to kill the priest you see around them. If you don't, they can reactivate the obelisk. They're the worst of all. My own subjects, working for the enemy. It's enough to make an old Daedric prince get all weepy. It doesn't help that they're the ones who make the obelisks work. A little chanting, a little ritual, and poof, knights of order. Bad news. Kill them when you see them. But don't touch the corpse until they're really dead. Which they aren't until you deactivate the obelisk. Ta, ah, come visit again. Or out, look out your eyes. <laughs> Yes, is there something you require? The flame of Agnon can only be lit by the immortal servants of Sheagorath, the golden saints and dark seducers of his creation. 
In normal times, Sheogorath would simply command it, and his servants would leap to sacrifice themselves upon the altars of rapture and despair. But alas, the times are not normal, and Sheogorath has given you this task without the authority to command it. I'm afraid you may have to be a little bit clever. Ah, the great torch. It is a symbol of Sheogorath's power and a source of great comfort for the citizens of New Sheoth. Unfortunately, the torch has gone out. For eternity, this has heralded the start of the Grey March. Lord Sheogorath, in his wisdom, wishes for you to relight the torch to help ease the worries of the populace. It is underway, but my lord does not wish for you to confront it directly yet. First, the realm and its citizens must be attended to. Yes, he will soon march across the land, destroying all that stands in his path. It's a frightening prospect. Many of our citizens are uh, delicate. They can't cope with the prospect, and they defect to the forces of Jigalag, becoming priests of order. I fear they grow in power as the Grey March progresses. More and more knights of order make their way into the Isles. The priests of order are the key. They summon the knights at the obelisks. A bad lot. Traitors. You'll find them near the obelisks that dot the land. They perform rituals at the obelisks to summon knights to the realm. Their link to Jigalag gives them power. As long as their obelisk is active, they cannot truly be killed. A glorious existence, truly. I wondered how long it would take before you needed my help. Cylon was once the capital of the Shivering Isles, perhaps the first capital. In any case, the flame of Agnon here is always used to light the great torch of Nusheoth. It has always been so, and presumably always will be so. My work is never done.
Halt! Mortals are not permitted within the walls of Holy Cylarn. Would that I could exact satisfaction upon you for that insult. But I am honor-bound to guard the doors of Cylarn, and so I will stay my hand for now. Halt! Be gone, mortal. Halt! My pardon, Lord. Receive this key and with it free passage throughout the shrine of the Flame of Agnon. Alas, we cannot light the flame until we take control of the Altar of Despair from the infernal Maskin. The Armazokana would wish to speak to you at once. Proceed through this door to our main encampment at the Altar of Rapture. Really, sir, you'll need to start thinking for yourself. It is one of the basic requirements of Godhood. I live to serve. My scouts reported no signs of the Maskin in the Underdeep. It's our best chance to take them unawares. Too risky. It's likely to be a trap. They could cut us to pieces down there if they knew we were coming. With all due respect, Armas, I ask that you reconsider. The main passage is strongly defended. Perhaps if you'd allow me to scout further. Enough! I've made my decision. We will attack down the main passage as planned. The Maskin will not withstand us. How may I serve? My soul for Sheogora. The flame is only lit at the command of Sheogorath, from the altars of rapture and despair within the shrine itself. I'm sure the Armazokana will be glad to help you once the Maskin are driven from the altar of despair. Alas, we have not seen the altar of despair for many years. It is in the underground part of Cylon, which is controlled by the Maskin. The Maskin do not even allow us free passage to worship there which is one of the many reasons why they are unfit to continue to guard it. It is just there, at the top of these steps. You would pray for the blinding ecstasy, which is the ultimate reward for those in Sheogorath's service? She commands the Orioles here at Cylarn. She has just arrived with reinforcements from Grelok to end this stalemate once and for all. Our home and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. That's what we call ourselves, the most loyal and honorable servants of Sheogorath. The treacherous ones, the dark seducers of ill repute, whose every action drags Sheogorath's holy name through the mud. Go. Greetings, stranger. Are you here to help us drive the Maskin out of Cylon? My scouts recently discovered another way through the ruins to the Altar of Despair. The Armasal Canner wants to assault the Altar down the main passage, but the Maskin are expecting us to come that way. They've strongly fortified the main passage against us. If we attacked through the Underdeep, we could take them by surprise. If only Kenna would listen to me. An attack down the main passage will end the same as it always does. A glorious defeat. She thinks the Underdeep is a trap. It's true. If the Maskin knew we were coming that way, we wouldn't stand a chance. But I'm convinced the Maskin don't expect us to come that way. If we attacked in full force, we could take the Altar of Despair before they had a chance to react. If only I could make Kana see that. Go. Yes. Enlightening as always. This is no place for a mortal. We are about to join battle against the Maskin. You'd best stand aside. My pardon, Emissary. 
I am at your service. We are preparing to sweep the mask and scum from Cylon. Perhaps Sheogorath sent you to help us. Only the servants of Sheogorath can light the flame by kindling the altars of despair and rapture which feed the flame. Alas, we hold only the altar of rapture. The treacherous mask can hold the altar of despair. We must control both to light the flame. If you help us seize the altar of despair from the Maskin, I will be honored to kindle the flame of Agnon for my lord Sheogorath. The flame is fed from the altar of rapture and the altar of despair. What? The only way to assault the altar of despair is down the main passage between the two altars. It will be difficult. The Maskin have fortified their position, but I am confident that with your help, we can defeat them. Will you help us retake the Altar of Despair and drive the Maskin out of Cylarn once and for all? Ah, Meryl's beloved surprise attack. A perfect example of why males do not hold command positions. He has failed to consider the risks of his plan. If the Maskin had prepared an ambush along that route, we would be slaughtered. We're better off storming the main passage where our superior strength and blade work can come into play. Are you ready to help us destroy the Maskin and take control of the Altar of Despair? That's an excellent idea. They cannot refuse entry to an emissary of Lord Sheogorath. Return at once when you have their deployments. This could make all the difference. Are you ready to... You're making a mistake. There is no other way to light the flame. If you think the Maskin will help you, you will be disappointed. We will destroy them with or without your help. Go then. I will hold off on my attack to give you a chance to reconsider, but I will not wait forever. Yes, is there something you require? Well, you've talked to one side. Perhaps a visit to the Dark Seducers is in order? Don't be frightened. They won't harm you. They look much fiercer than they really are, I assure you. If only we could speak more often. Cylon shall be ours. What is it, Emissary? The counterpart to the Altar of Despair. Rapture is currently held by the Orioles in their complacency, but that will soon change. Our rivals, the so-called Golden Saints. One day, Sheogorath will finally recognize their bull-headed stupidity and expel them from the realm. The Holy Flame can only be lit from the altars of despair and rapture. Alas! The Orioles hold rapture for now. You should speak to the Grakedric Ulfri at once. She will be glad of your help to rid Cylarn of the arrogant Orioles once and for all. You know us as Dark Seducers, a name given us by our enemies. But we are the Mazkin in our own tongue, Cheogorath's only truly loyal servants. She is the Gorkedric, commander of the Mazkin here at Cylarn. She has never yet been defeated by the Orioles, despite their strength. Walk with our Lord. Hail. 
a mortal wandering the halls of Holy Cylarn, and a male no less. Explain yourself. Then I am at your service. The Grok Hedrick Ulfri commands here. You will wish to speak to her at once, no doubt. We hold the Altar of Despair, here within the Shrine of the Flame of Adnan. Continue down the corridor if you wish to meditate there upon the fate of all things mortal. For Sheogoreth's glory. The altar of rapture will be ours. What is it, Emissary? For Sheogoreth's glory. The altar of rapture. How may I serve? Be gone, mortal, or you will soon find yourself between the Mazkin and their prey. A most dangerous place to be. We are preparing to wipe out the arrogant Ariels once and for all. Once they break themselves on our defenses, Cylarn will be ours, a gift for our Lord Sheogorath. Then you have arrived just in time to help us defend the Altar of Despair. Once the strength of the Aureoles is shattered, I will be honored to light the flame as my Lord Sheogorath commands. The two altars, Blessed Despair and Holy Rapture, feed the great flame of Agnon above us. Only Sheogorath's immortal servants can kindle the altars, and I am at my Lord's command. But I only hold despair for the moment. The Aureoles hold rapture and are massing to attack us. But never fear, they are no match for us. Once their main force is destroyed, with your help, we can easily take rapture from the few survivors. Then I will gladly kindle the flame for you. Only the immortal servants of Sheogorath can kindle the altars of despair and rapture. Once the Orioles are routed from the altar of rapture, I will be most pleased to command my soldiers to light the flame for Sheogorath's glory. We are expecting the Orioles to attack any moment. They'll come down the main passage from the altar of rapture. They always do. They are overconfident as usual. We have prepared many traps and ambushes. It will be a glorious slaughter. Once the Aureoles are destroyed, I will light the flame of Agnon for you. Will you help us defend the Altar of Despair? As you wish. But I advise you to join the winning side if you really want the flame relit. The Aureoles will never drive us from Cylarn. I am honored to assist Lord Sheogorath's emissary. Are you ready to help us defend the Altar of Despair from the Aureoles' attack? I never suspected that Kana had the audacity to try such a risky assault. 
but we'll teach her to try to take the Nazkin by surprise. We'll cut them to pieces in those corridors. I'll redeploy my forces at once. You return to Kana and lead her into the trap. Once they're destroyed, I will kindle the altars. Good hunting, friend. The Yes, is there something you require? I'm afraid you'll have to make up your own mind. Unfortunately, I'm just the hired help. I'm not paid to make the big decisions. How to decide? Do you prefer glorious and pointless battle or the poisoned arrow striking home from ambush? Do you like a stand-up fight or perhaps a bit of treachery is more your style? Enlightening as all. Shail Gorath, blessings upon you. Shail Gorath, blessings I am honored to assist Lord Sheagorath's emissary. I have ordered my troops to deploy into the Underdeep. Your job is to lead the Aureoles into our trap. Don't worry, we'll be ready for them. Walk with our Lord. Sheogorath, blessings upon you. Greetings, Emissary. We await your command. Are you ready to help us destroy the Maskin and take control of the Altar of Despair? Are all males so obstinate? Have I not already told you that I consider that route too risky? 
What makes you think you can persuade me when my own lieutenant cannot? You've seen this with your own eyes? I must be sure it isn't a trap if I'm to take such a risk. Meryl was very convincing as well. Very well. We'll risk it. The underdeep it is. May Sheogorath's divine madness possess us today. Oh. Down with the mask. Kneel before the
victory is ours. I have already instructed my subordinates to kindle the altar of rapture. It is my honor to sacrifice myself on the altar of despair at Lord Sheogoreth's command. What do you mean? Every Mazkin under my command would gladly accept this honor if it was not my own to claim. You fought well. I would almost grant you the honor of kindling the altar if you were an immortal. Farewell. The waters of oblivion await me. Yes, it... A lovely little treachery. The Golden Saints almost begged to be betrayed, true, but still you took that little bit of extra time to think it through. A glorious... Your betrayal of the Orioles was a stratagem worthy of one of my own people. Victory by means of treachery is the sweetest kind. For Sheogoreth's glory. Yes. If only we could see.
The Mazkin do not forget their friends. How may I serve? name will be hailed whenever we toast this day's victory in our halls at Pinnacle Rock. Our fortress and sanctuary here in the Shivering Isles. Walk with our Lord. Speak quickly, mortal. Hello. Speak quickly, mortal. You've brought it. The holy flame of Agnon. The fire of inspiration and rapture. If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasselum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. Do not think about it. Dream about it. Let your mind soar on flights of fancy. I know you will choose well in the end. Are you ready to repent of your actions in Cylon and light the great torch for mania? You should know that in addition to the adulation of the people of Bliss, there is also a more earthly reward. The hero who lights the great torch for mania is traditionally awarded the raiment of Arden Sul. Not that this should influence your choice at all. Now, what do you say? Ah. You burn with the purging fire of Agnon, the flame of truth, the flickering beacon of hope in the gloom of despond. Come, light the great torch for dementia. Illuminate the conspiracies, deepen the shadows. The people of Crucible await their hero. Oh, no, you, you don't want to do that. Don't believe their lies. They are no true friends. Don't you see it? How they whisper behind your back. No, light the torch for dementia, and you'll see how we treat our friends. Dementia takes care of its own. You know that the hero who lights the torch for dementia is granted the ring of intrigue, a boon for those who would gain access to hidden knowledge. Surely you will do what is right, won't you? Yes, let your mind worry at the problem. Let fear and dismay over making the wrong choice sink their talons deep into your brain. You'll uplift the poor, suffering folk of dementia with the flame, then? You are truly demented, as I always suspected. Release yourself to your secret fears and desires. Let them rule you, as they must in the end. Now, light the great torch as a beacon for those who fear and those who inspire fear.
old bask in the warm, safe glow of a great torch. I don't think I can render any assistance until you hear Lord Sheyogoras out. Do pay close attention. Tidings and welcome. I'm disappointed in your choice. Why you would choose to honor the fetid madness of Dementia is beyond my understanding. Tread the humble path and find enlightenment. The Great Torch flares with the light of Dementia. All of Crucible will be celebrating tonight. Here, take this. The reward you have earned. Quickly now. It's best if no one knows you wear this. Kinnereth bestowed the boots of the Crusader on a worthy knight. Pleasure and pain be with you. you off to a good start. That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. The Grey March is upon us and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Why not? Something has to work. Once I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter. It didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter and tears. But this... Is all new! A fresh idea! Something I hadn't thought of until I did. It's sure to work, even though it might not. 